Yeshua, God commanded Joshua to circumcise all the people born in the wilderness. And he took all the men and circumcised them. And after circumcision, God told Joshua, today, I take away the shame from you that the Egyptians despised you. And they called that place Gilgal. Even today, that means is a place where they were removed all the despised. They were circumcised at that place. At Gilgal. In other words, Amen. At Gilgal, to us, it is a place circumcision in the New Testament is salvation. Paul said about it that the Jews are circumcised on the flesh but for us we are circumcised in the heart. We are saved in the heart. Meaning that in the journey we have started the first place we're not supposed to remain behind is that Gilgal is a place where we were saved where we received Jesus that is where we started this journey it is that Gilgal that is where we were circumcised where all the shame was taken from us that is where the nature of sin was taken from us and also, or our sins were taken away at that place and we enter into the New Testament of being children of God and inheritors with Jesus in the land of the promises. The place, God in our journey in his plans he does not want us to stay at the same level. Paul said that we come from grace to more grace. We are not supposed to be at the same level. Neither at the same point. God wants us to go there for It means that is a place when God is pleased with someone. Whoever makes God happy is God sends you to a place at a temptation, it is a place, a true Christian, who God wants to use for grace, he makes them pass in great problems, in great battles, so that he can save him, and transform them, to become faithful people of God. God, when he wants to use you for great things, he makes you pass through great things so that he can transform you to do great things tomorrow. He cannot use you for great things without passing you through temptations. When you meet with temptations, when you meet with war, Know that you are a great one. Hallelujah. God wants that. He may pass you through great things. Become a great person. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are in the battlefield, know that you are at Jericho. Don't remain there. There are people who come to Jericho and they park. They stop. They stay at the same place. Niho, it is the place bench. many people Baza they complain Bagatima. and leave God and take witchcraft. Niho, it is a place where many people meet with poverty and they leave salvation from Gilgal. And yet they came from Gilgal's saved. They came to Bethel, they were filled with the joy of salvation. But when they came to Bethel, great temptation, when they met with poverty, and the hunger of the processes, they leave God behind. And they stop being they receive other things which are not God. Christian, my brother, my sister, continue in this journey. 
Be patient. Don't stay Jericho. And be patient. The wall with the wall of Jericho. Continue looking upon God. Don't remain at Jericho. Please don't stay behind. Please don't let hunger make you remain at Jericho. Let, should a sickness make you remain at Jericho? Don't let any temptations at Jericho make you remain. Be strong. Persevere. Allow yourself to pass. There are people who have been come to Jericho. And they want to go back. Jesus even came to Jericho. And he prayed. Take God if it's possible. Take this cup away from me. He was very troubled. Because of the temptations of Jericho. But again he prayed and said. Go not my will. But your will be done. It is the time Elijah told the secret he hand to Elisha and he said Elisha you continued walking with me ask your neighbor where are you walking with Jesus are you sure you didn't remain at Gilgal are you sure you didn't remain at Bethel are you sure you didn't remain at Jericho? Where are you walking with Jesus? In the journey of at what point are you? Hallelujah. When they crossed the Jordan, Elijah told Elisha, you have walked with me. You persevered in this journey. Now they are Ask anything you want before I'm separated from you. I will give it to you. When we cross the Jordan, to Jordan, cross the Jordan, we receive good things Biruta. more than what we received at Gilgal, at, Bethel. at Gilgal, at Bethel. And they make us forget what we met with at Jericho. <laughs> The problem of Christians at Bethel. They are only requesting and asking. Only requesting and requesting. Many Christians are. You only ask. Amen. And others. Because they are still at Bethel. They can't even pray for themselves. And they buy people to pray for them. God was in heaven. And he said, This man who has offered all these sacrifices, nothing else. What is what kind of man is this? He does not ask for anything. And he told Solomon. And he said, Solomon, I am so pleased with you. Very pleased with your sacrifice. Now what do you want? Ask me. She said, I have prepared. My king, I have prepared a banquet. Which woman can have such great requests? They are going to destroy their tribe and her too. And when they get the to ask for anything, she says, I have prepared a feast. Please come and eat. That is a great lesson to the women. If, if I found favor in your eyes, please come to my banquet. I prepared something. Who are preparing before asking? The man comes from the door. Them so much. Let us read the word of God. We thank God for this time to share his word. This is the grace of God. It does not belong to us but to God. Let me ask Mama Sarah to read. Second Kings. Chapter 1. 
Second Kings chapter 2 from verse 1. Ageze kumurongo wa chumi. Up to 10. Haravuse ngo Eliya azamurwa mwijuru. Igihe uwiteka yendaga kuzamura Eliya ngo amujane mwijuru amujane yeah. muri serwakira. Yego. Eliya ahagurukana na Elisa igirugari. Mm. Eliya abwira Elisa ati ndakwinginze sigara hano kuko uwiteka antumye i Betel. Elisa aramusubiza ati nkurahi uwiteka uhoraho nubugingo bwawe sinsigara nuko baramanukana baji Betel. Yego. Bagezeyo abana babahanuzi bi Betel mm. baza basanganira Elisa baramubwira bati aho uziko uyu munsi uwiteka agiye kugukuraho shobuja mm. arabasubiza ati ye ndabizi ariko ni muceceke Eliya arongera aramubwira ati Elisa ndakwinginze sigara hano kuko uwiteka antumye iyeriko nawe aramusubiza ati nkurahiye uwiteka uhoraho nubugingo bwawe sinsigara nuko baja iyeriko yego bagezeyo abana babahanuzi bi yeriko basanga Elisa baramubwira bati aho uziko uyu munsi uwiteka agiye kugukuraho shobuja arabusubiza ati ye ndabizi ariko ni mucecheke arongera Eliya arongera aramubwira ati ndakwinginze sigara hano kuko uwiteka antumye kuri Yorodan yes nawe aramusubiza ati nkurahi uwiteka uhoraho nubugingo bwawe sinsigara nuko barajana bombi maze bakurikirwa nabana babahanuzi mirongo itanu baragenda bahagarara kure aho babitegeye ariko ubwabo bombi bageze kuri Yorodani barahahagarara mm. Eliya yenda umwitero we arawuzinga awukubita amazi yigabanyamo kabiri umwajya ukwayo amwajya ukwayo ayandi ukwayo bombi bambukira ahumutse bageze hakurya Eliya abwira Elisa ati sabe icyo ushaka cyose ndakigukorera ntaratandukanywa nawe Elisa aramusubiza aramubaza aramusaba ati ndakwinginze ndaga imigaba nibiri y'umwuka wawe Eliya aramusubiza ati uransaba ikibirije cyane icyakora numbona nkigukurwaho birakubera bityo ariko nutambona siko biri bube amen 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 bana guhu mugisha mwinshi God bless you so much bana yesa sifiwe amen tugiye kuganira ijambo ry'Imana we are going to share the word of God tumara tuze gusenga dusengera ibyifuzo then we shall pray for different requests turaza gutarama we are going to serve dusengera ibyifuzo and we are praying for the requests ah dusengere nabarwaye dufite as well as the sick people we have rero tugiye kuganira ijambo umwanya utari muremure cyane therefore we are speaking not for a long time bana yesa sifiwe amen Ge kuganira namwe I'm going to share with you urugendo umukristo agomba kugenda The journey a Christian is supposed to walk urugendo umukristo agomba kugenda The journey a Christian is supposed to walk Nibyo tugiye kuganira This is what we are going to speak on Turaganira ahantu hane And we shall speak of four places Utagomba gusigara You are not supposed to remain Ngomba kwanga you are supposed to re refuse to remain at that place. You should not agree to remain at that place. And the first place you are not supposed to stay at. The second place you are not supposed to stay in. The third place you are not supposed to stay in. And the fourth place you are not supposed to stay in. To begin a nurugendo gumu Christo agomba na Yesu. To the life a Christian is supposed to walk with Jesus. Bana Yesu sifu. Amen. Kuri kila ne tukumbwe na genda gahoro gahoro. Let us follow because I shall speak slowly. Bana Yesu sifu. Amen. Tu somnya makuru ya Eliya na Elisa. We read the news of Elijah and Elisha. Mana itora nya Eliya. 
God chose Elijah and he used him for so many miracles in Israel. And the time Elijah stood, it was a time his fathers had left God. And they were led by King Ahab and Jezebel, his wife. That king and married a foreigner. And she brought other gods in Israel. And people left the God of Israel. And they received the gods of the nations. And then God raised Elijah. And he was a man from Shumi. He raised and went to her place. And he said, because of what you have done, taken God away from Israel, and those sins, the time that will come, until I have said it as Elijah. And that is what happened. For three and a half years, until God told him to read the and again he came to Ahab and he said, Let's go up the mountain and, and reveal the true gold who brings down fire, who is the true gold of Israel. They went up the mountain and on the mountain they revealed the true God. The God of Elijah became the God who brought down the fire. And all the Israelites they came back and said, Shall worship the God of Elijah. They came back to God. And after they came back to God, Jezebel knew what had happened. Elijah killed 850 prophets. And the rain had come down again. And Jezebel sent a message. And she said, if I don't punish you for the servant to kill, may my God kill me for that. Those gods were not revealed at Mount Calme. There was this that Elijah was very afraid and he fled. And he walked for three days in the wilderness. Running away from Jezebel. And when he came to the bush, he was hungry. And he has to die. And he told God, I'm the only true prophet remaining. And they, are, they want to kill me as well. Now please kill me. God saw the problem he had. He saw that he was hungry. Since he went to Mount Carmel, and he fought with her, and he did all those missions, he didn't eat. He didn't pray. He didn't read the word of God. And God fed him. He brought down the angel. Told him to wake up from where he was sleeping. Let me speak this thing as well. Many preachers and many teachers. Once I say this as well. Because I had not done research. They say that that tree. It has poisonous trees. When it falls on a person, the person dies. But that is not the truth. That tree has no poison at all. It is a good tree even back at home we have it. I searched it on Google and found it's a very good tree with red flowers. And its nature, it has no poison. He just slept under a tree and he slept under a tree. And he himself has to die. The Bible does not say it had poison that could kill him. But people say it. But do your own research as well. You shall find that tree on Google. Those are trees we have back home. Amen. And after he has to die, God told him. And he told him, wake up and eat. 
and drink because this journey is heavy. He woke up, ate and drank and he continued on his journey and he went to the mountain of God and entered the Agumamo. Nabla and stayed in it. Okay. And then in the morning, God found him in that cave. And he said, Son, go to the village and anoint a king. And Elisha will take up him because he was asking to die. But there was no one to take his place. Therefore, God said, Time has come for me to take you. But prepare these people for me. And he went to look for Elisha. When he came to his place, he found Elisha plowing and he threw his cloak on him and Elisha followed him and he said let me go and bid by to my family and he went and did that and came and followed Elisha and he became his servant the English Bible explains it and he says they stayed together for almost 10 years walking together teaching him and training him teaching him as his servant he was his servant and then one day this is the verse we read glory to Jesus amen God told Elijah the news that I was going to take him in a whirlwind and he hid it from Elisha and he told Elisha we have read that when God was about to take Elijah in a whirlwind he went with Elijah from Gilgal and when they stood for the journey he told him, Elisha, remain at this place. God has sent me to Bethel. Now for you, remain at Gilgal. And Elisha told him, surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, Elijah, I will not remain. Amen. And this is what I want us to share. The journey a Christian is supposed to walk. And you refuse to remain behind in that journey. The Israelites, when they came to the Red Sea, they saw the sea in front of them and the horses of Pharaoh behind him. When they came to the sea, they stood and they complained to Moses and he said did you bring us to kill us with our children or women you could have let us to die back in Egypt were well, there no graves in Egypt and Moses complained to the Lord and God told him this why are you complaining to me Moses why are you complaining to me who told you to complain to me tell the Israelites to continue with their journey and to stop standing who told them to stand let them continue on their journey one writer said that when the Israelites if they didn't stand and they continued on their journey without caring about the sea in front of them God and prepared the way on top of the ocean you are supposed to pass on because he saw their heart they did not believe in him they could not step on the sea and continue their journey because of their little faith God told Moses 
Raise your hand on top of the sea and it shall make way. And they shall see the way they are used to. But God and prepared the way on top of the sea. The way Jesus walked on water. The way he was supposed to walk on top of that sea. But because they didn't have faith, they stood. Amen. In this journey to go heaven, because of, of the little faith of Christians today, they are coming to a problem. When they come to a scene, they stand. They stop. Christians. Put it aside. Amen. But don't remain at that place. Continue with your journey. Elisa. Elisha, he refused to remain behind at Gilgal. At Gilgal, he explains that it is a place the Israelites, when God brought them from the wilderness, when they came to the rest of Jordan, God told Joshua to tell the priest to step on the water. And the river was broken too. When it is, they crossed on dry land. And they went to Gilgal. And they laid down their tents. That was the first place they entered in the land of Canaan. Amen. When they came to that place, God told Joshua to take all the people because people had come from Egypt, they all died in the wilderness. The people who crossed the Jordan were the people who were born in the wilderness. Because God and commanded Abraham to circumcise all the men. It was a covenant of giving themselves to God and to separate themselves from the other nations. They were supposed to be circumcised as a covenant with their God. And the years they stayed in the wilderness, all the children were born in the wilderness. They were not circumcised. Therefore, when they came to Gilgal, God commanded Joshua to circumcise all the people born in the wilderness. And he took all the men and circumcised them. And after circumcision, God told Joshua, today, I take away shame from you that the Egyptians despised you. And they called that place Gilgal. Even today, that means is a place where they were removed all the despised they were circumcised at that place. At Gilgal, in other words, Amen. 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 At Gilgal, to us, it is a place circumcision in the New Testament is salvation. Paul said about it that the Jews are circumcised on the flesh but for us we are circumcised in the heart. We are saved in the heart. Meaning that in the journey we have started the first place we are not supposed to remain behind is that Gilgal is the place where we were saved where we received Jesus that is where we started this journey it is that Gilgal that is where we were circumcised where all the shame was taken from us that is where the nature of sin was taken from us. And also, all our sins were taken away at that place. And we entered into the New Testament of being children of God. 
and na Kristo mu gihugu cha masezerano inheritance with Jesus in the land of the promises migirugal it is at gilgal tumupe bwana utukufu bwana yesu asifiwe bakeserero igirugal when they came to gilgal therefore barakebgawos they were all circumcised imani bakura igisusuguri and all the desperate was taken out from baba babasha They became a new creation. They had another covenant with God. They became children of God. They did not become They were no longer the children who came from Egypt. They became children of the covenant. Amen. Elisa Elisha, when he knew that secret, Elijah told him, Remain at Gilgal. God has sent me to Bethel. Bana Amen. Abantu benshi, many people. Barakijijwe. They have been born again. Bama baguma. And they stayed at that place. Abantu, other people. Baje, they came. Badusanga igirugal. And found you at Gilgal. Abisiri bahaguruka muri Egypt. When the Israelites left it. Bibiri yavuga ngo bahagurukanye n'ikivunge cyinshi cy'abanyamahanga. The Bible says there were many foreigners along with them. Bashana nawe. They went with them. They were not Israelites. They all went on the journey. They also came to Gilgal. And they continue living with the Israelites. Because they went without getting born again. They were the people who troubled Moses the most in that time. There's a verse I read. I was amazed. That the foreigners who went to the Israelites. They were the people who used to say we want meat. We miss those things we used to eat. Even they could say we miss the onions. They could say we miss the onions of, no, no. of Israel. Egypt. And because they were foreigners, they didn't have the rights. They would only whisper to the Israelites. They said, we need meat. We need garlic. And then, after whispering to the Israelites, because, because the Israelites had the right to Moses, they could make a lot of noise to Moses. So we need meat, we need meat, we need meat. And there could be a lot of demonstrations. And Moses would come to God. God will become very angry. Because they listen to the foreigners. Listen to them and they could die. And Moses could stand before God. Ask for forgiveness on their behalf. God could forgive them and continue walking with them. There's a time they troubled God. And God left them. Told Moses from today. I take my tent away from Israel. I take it behind you. Because I'll not walk with the Israelites again. If I continue walking with them, I will destroy all of them. That is when Moses went up the mountain for 40 days. And he told God, God, I want you. If I was blessed with you, allow me to walk with you. Because these people, it is not me who gave birth to them. They are your children. Now please walk with us. And if you don't walk with us, we shall not continue on this journey. God said, because I have known you, and you are blessed through me, Moses, I understand. I will walk with you. Amen. It was confusion from the Nepalinos. In the church, there are people who came born again. Others came to give. Others came and were circumcised. They were circumcised in the church. And their whole nature was thrown away. But the foreigners who came with them, they are there even in the church. There are people who bring problems in the churches. There are the people who don't try, then they don't offer. They don't help the widows and the orphans. There are people who don't obey the word of God. Those are the foreigners who entered into the church. And they found us praising. And they praised. 
They find us dancing. They dance as well. When they find us worshiping, they worship. But they have not been circumcised in their hearts. When they go outside, they continue being foreigners. Those are the people who bring problems to the church. All the problems. Ask your neighbor. Did you come to Gilgal? Were you circumcised in your heart? If you came to Gilgal, don't stay there. Don't stay there. The journey continues. Amen. Don't stay at Gilgal. Others were saved and they stayed at Gilgal. And they rejoiced at the first. And they stayed there. You are still at Gilgal. But Elisha told Elijah, as surely as the Lord lives and you live, I shall not be left behind. They continued. They came to Bethel. When they came to Bethel, the sons of the prophets, they came to them and they told Elisha, do you know the news? I know you don't get revelation. You only walk behind Elijah and you know nothing. Do you know the news? Today, the Lord will separate you from your master. He is taking him today. Do you know the news? And Elisha told him, I know. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Yes, I know. But be quiet. A person who has left Gilgal, they know many things. And keep quiet. They don't speak a lot. They don't speak anyhow. A Christian who has been born again, what reveals you that you have been born again you don't speak like you used to you don't speak just anything you manage your words you know what to say and what not to say amen do you see when a person is born again after they have received Jesus you look like a corpse you seem like you hate everyone. But he was on the right direction. He left Gilgal. Whoever has left Gilgal, they don't speak anyhow. They don't speak just anything. They know what they are supposed to do. And they keep quiet and focus on that thing. You don't just walk along there. But they are focused on what they know. There is a person who has left Gilgal. When they came to Bethel. Amen. At Bethel. It means a house of God. It is a house of God. You remember Jacob. Running from his how his brother is stealing his blessing. And the Bible tells us that he took a journey going to his uncle's home. When he came to Jericho, it was dark. He slept on a stone and he fell asleep. After falling asleep at night, he dreamt. He saw a ladder from heaven. Angels were going down and up. And someone stood on top of the ladder. And he said, I'm the, father, I'm the God of the Father And the God of the Father Isaac. I will be with you on this I will protect you. And on the nation you are sleeping, I will bring you back 
I'll not leave you. I'll not leave you. Until I fulfill what I promised to a grandfather. When he woke up, he was amazed. And he said, Oh, I left at the gate of heaven and I didn't know. And he woke up early in the morning. And he took the stone he slept on. And he said, This. This place will become a house of God. And if God helps me, this journey, walk with me and bring me back. I will build a house of God on this mountain. And I will not spend the day God will give me everything. I must give a tenth. Amen. At Bethel is at the house of God. When we come from Gilgal, when we get born again, when we receive Jesus, we go to Bethel, we enter into the church, we come, we come to the house of God. In the house of God, we find the joy of salvation, a lot of joy, and we find the gate of heaven, where the solution comes. Where you see angels going up and down. Where there is a very fast connection. It is at the house of God. After you leave Gilgal. And you make steps to Bethel. Bethel at the house of God. You receive the blessings of God. And you receive the solutions from God. And you receive promises from God. After you get born again, so that God can hold you and strengthen you, He gives you promises. Amen. Who is a person without a promise about the journey of their salvation? If you don't have such a promise, you have not left Gilgal yet. You have not come to Bethel. Bethel. At Bethel, we receive promises. Amen. Amen. God gave Jacob promises Bethel. at Bethel. At that place, it is the place Solomon, the son of David, when he went to build a church, that is why he built the church in Jerusalem. It was built on the same place Jacob pulled that stone. That is why the temple of Jerusalem was built. Because, why? Because it is at the house of God. Amen. Elisa, Elisha, when when he came to Bethel, he told Elijah, he said, now, I will not remain. Elijah told him, remain here. Remain for the blessings of God. There are Christians who come to this place. Say in this place, this place is at the house of God. They feel this is a good level of Christianity. They feel this is a good level of Christianity. And they rejoice on the blood and blessings from God. But, don't remain at Bethel. The journey continues. Amen. Elisa, Elisha, he told Elijah, I will not remain at Bethel. And they continue to Jericho. Amen. At Bethel, uh, is a place you have images you receive very fast blessing. There is a place you pray and you are answered very fast. There is a place where you tell God what you want and he gives it instantly. Once in a while, without caring about how you are, because God can bless you even though you are not saved. Yes. He can answer you even though you are not born again. He brings down rain. The good and the bad. 
Bethel, when you come to Bethel, which is the Bushora house of God, kutabagwa. you can be rescued utara, ut, 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 without being born again. Don't see the people we pray for. And God says something about them. Alone. And God rescues you. You think he's born again than the rest of the people. Not at all. Because of the goodness of God. The goodness of God is very great. It comes to the good and the bad. He blesses them. Because he is goodness. It is not anything to him. It does not reduce anything because he is not jealous. He blesses all the people. He brings rain to the bad and the good. And our mount fields, you have your own field of men. And a sinner has his next to yours. Next to your field. Weed. When the rain comes down, and you cannot see the field, and refuse to rain on the one for Kamau. Because he is planting weed. Not at all. God blesses Nganga. Because he is a righteous man. And because of his goodness. And he blesses Kamau as well. And he is planting weed. Amen. Amen. Many Christians, therefore, they stayed at Bethel. But Elisha, because he knew, said, I will not remain at Bethel. And they went to Jericho. When they came to Jericho, they told him, Do you know the news? The sons of the prophets. Amen. Something I forgot about Bethel. At Bethel. When you get born again and you enter the house of God, many times to receive those gifts of salvation, you write all his scriptures, all those gifts of the Spirit, you receive them at Bethel. That is why the sons of the prophets met him. And he said to them, we know that we know that we know that we from what we know, Elijah has been taken out of me. And he said, I read that was long before you came. When they came to Jericho, the sons of the prophets came again. Said, do you know the news? Today, God will take your master from you. And he said, I know, so be quiet. Amen. Jericho, At Jericho, in this journey, in the journey of Christians, when you get born again, and you come from Gilgal, and enter the house of God, and you rejoice in the house of God, and you work for God properly, and you do what you're supposed to do, and you love God and you love His house, and you praise Him through the Spirit, and God is pleased with you, and God is pleased in you, and you rejoice in God at Bethel. There's another place God pushes you. To. God does not want us to stay at the same place. God in our journey, in His plans, He does not want us to stay at the same place. Paul says that we come from grace. Two more grace. We're not supposed to be at the same level. Neither at the same point. God wants us to continue, to continue from level to level. And not to start at Bethel. Not to stay at Bethel. Neither at Gilgal. But to continue walking. Amen. When you rejoice in God at Bethel, God pushes you to Jericho. At Jericho, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great people come there. 
Not any person comes to Jericho. Amen. Whoever goes to Jericho is a person who passed through Gilgal and was circumcised in the heart properly. And they left the canon in Christ. Became a new creation, Jesus Christ. And then they went to Bethel and remained in the house of God and rejoiced in the Lord and was pleased with God until when God himself rejoices in them and pushes them to Jericho. A Jericho. When the Israelites came from Gilgal, they met with the wall of Jericho and they could not pass through until Joshua could not find a way to come to Jericho. Yoshua, and remember that Joshua was a very great soldier. He was a great intercessor who lived with Moses. Every time Moses was in the mountain, he was with Joshua. Moses could go up and stay and stay for 40 days and 40 nights. Yeshua, Joshua could go down the mountain Mose, and wait for Moses for 40 days and 40 nights. Is the day when the Israelites see, God said to Moses to go down to Israelites when he came to the bottom of the mountain. He has Joshua. I can hear voices and songs and from afar. And this place. His voices are separate from the voices of the celebration of war. I can feel the peace of the Israelites. Since I don't know what's happening. Let's go and check. Joshua and spent 40 days waiting for Moses. Listen to this intercessor. Listen to such a great intercessor. And he just waited. The first day. The second. 40 days. Not together with Moses. Moses was at the peak of the mountain. And him at the bottom. But when he came to Jericho, he met with a battle that he has never met before. There's a day he went for with the Amalekites. Moses went up the mountain. He went with Aaron and Hur. Hur was the brother in law of Moses. And Aaron was the big brother of Moses. Ur was the husband of Miriam. Miriam, Miriam the sister of Moses. You'll take one hand. Aaron the second. Joshua was at the battlefield. He fought. When he saw it's almost and he had not completed the battle. Joshua was such a great man. He said and said, You stand. stand at the same spot. And you moon, stand where you are until this battle is over. Then you can continue. Amen. And they stood still instantly. He fought after the battle was over. Told them to continue. Means that he was for two days. The man that stood there, they say that those are the days that Joshua stopped the sun and the moon. Two days. They were for two days. And after he won the battle, told them to continue. Amen. 
I want to tell you that he was a great soldier. But when he came to Jericho, he could not have a plan at all. He could not find the means to capture Jericho. Because there was a certain great wall. And they were very tall walls. No one could climb. They didn't have the guns to destroy those walls. There was no strategy at all to apply. Then one morning he woke up and he prayed as he was patrolling. Because God saw that Jericho was a hard one. That Joshua could not make it on his own. What do you think? A place God brought down the host of them. The greatest of the hosts of heaven. He came down. The general of heaven. He came down to fight at Jericho. Do you think it was a new place? Do you see these troops who save other nations? Many cases, countries don't send the general. They send maybe the colonels, all the major, to lead the horse. But God, He sent the general commander of the horse of heaven. Not just for the whole. No nation has sent the general command of a nation to go and save another country. Even though a country is attacked, the general does not go to battle. But he sends people. He gives instructions to those below. Means the battle of Jericho was so great. Joshua could not win it. Jericho therefore. It means that. Is a place. When God is pleased with someone. Whoever makes God happy is better. God sends you to a place. At a temptation, it is a place. A true Christian who God wants to use for greatness, it makes them pass in great problems and great battles so that he can save him and transform them to become faithful people. Of God. While you are still at Bethel, God still has doubts with you. While you are still at the house of God, God is still doubting. But when you please Him properly, you become trusted in His house. It takes you to Jericho. And you pass through temptation. Pass through battle. And see the way you handle yourself. And at Jericho, it is a place. Maybe you can't fight on your own. It is a place that is so great in life. It is a place that is so hard for the self. There is no power in you that can make you pass through Jericho. You stand and say, What can I do, my God? After Joshua lacked. Strategy. God brought down the angel. And he asked, Where do you belong? Do you our enemies? Do you belong to our enemies? That was revealed. Joshua was a soldier. In the morning, when he saw him, he said, You, you, where do you come from? Do you belong to our enemies or do you belong to us? It was still nice. No one says that. But a soldier. When a civil man sees another man, they run away. But Joshua did not hide. He asked him. And that soldier, great commander, because he you know the commands of the army, he introduced himself. Because he knew if he didn't do that, Joshua was a soldier, he could kill him. 
When you don't introduce yourself as a soldier, ah, ah, ah. they will kill you in introduce himself and he say I'm not among the enemies even not to you but I came here because of the battle of the host of God the host of God came no none but the Joshua, Joshua and Joshua and he knew that he said yes commander Polic. What should I do? And he said, remove your shoes. He removed his shoes. And he gave him a plan of the way he was going to destroy Jericho. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Jericho. At Jericho, it is at war. It is a place. You cannot fight for yourself. It is a place you come to. And God fights for you alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jericho. Jericho. Nahanu. Is a place. Imana yere kanira. God reveals Himself. Uvitangas. In miracle. Nima nahanu. It is a place. Imani garagarira chan. God is manifested. Ikosi kin. When He does something. Abanu wakavu ngo nima nigeko. And people will say, surely God has done. Siwe ugikos. It is not you who has done. Nima nigeko. But God has done it. Yeshua. Joshua, he knew so well that he could not fight Jericho. And he said, no one else. What should I do? And he told him what to do. And he destroyed the wall of Jerusalem. Jericho. When they destroyed the walls of Jericho, they entered into Canaan. And the Bible says, that manna was over. And they started eating from the land. When you come from Jericho, you enter into your Canaan. Amen. But when you stay at Bethel, all at Gilgal, you will die without getting to Canaan. Amen. It's a place God is manifested greatly. God when he wants to use you for great things, he makes you pass through great things so that he can transform you to do great things tomorrow. He cannot use you for great things without passing you through temptation. When you meet with temptations, when you meet with war, Know that you are a great one. God wants that. He may pass you through great things. I'm a great person. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are in the battlefield, know that you are Jericho. Don't remain there. There are people who come to Jericho and they park. They stop. They stay at the same place. It is the place. Many people. They complain. And leave God. And take witchcraft. There is a place where. Many people meet with poverty. And they leave salvation from Gilgal. And yet they came from Gilgal. They came to Bethel. They were filled with the joy of salvation. But when they came to Bethel, when they met with Bukati, and the hunger of the processes, they leave God behind. And they stop being God. They receive other things which are not God. Christian, my brother, my sister, continue in this journey. Be patient. Persevere. Even though you are a Jericho, stand a Jericho is a place where faith makes you live. You fight by faith. You don't fight with flesh and blood and wisdom. Only faith fights for you. Amen. God, when he wants to use you for great things, he teaches you by making you pass through a great temptation. 
Bwana Isa sivyo. Amen. Yesu. Jesus. Kugira ngo abone izina lisumba ndi mazina yose. For him to receive a name above all other names. Imana yamuchishije. God made him pass through Jericho. Bwana Isa sivyo. Amen. Muri buka Yes, I'm the Kuzur Muka Well. Do you remember when he was filled with the Holy Spirit? There was his spirit took him to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And he said there for 49 days and 49. And the researcher says that where he went to be tempted was Jericho. It was the mountain of Jericho. There is where he spent days be tempted. And he spent days being tempted by the devil until he conquered. And after he won the temptation, the devil lost hope. And he said, go. I wait for you tomorrow. And he was waiting for him at the cross. Because he had conquered him at Jericho. Even at the cross, he was conquered. Amen. Don't stay at Jericho. And be patient. The wall with the wall of Jericho. Continue looking upon God. Don't remain at Jericho. Please don't stay behind. Please don't let hunger make you remain at Jericho. Let, should a sickness make you remain at Jericho? Don't let any temptations at Jericho make you remain. Be strong. Persevere. Allow yourself to pass through. There are people who even come to Jericho. And they want to go back. Jesus even came to Jericho. And he prayed. Take God if it's possible. Take this cup away from me. He was very troubled. Because of the temptations of Jericho. But again he prayed and said. Go not my will. But your will be done. I told you, Jericho, don't fight for yourself. You can see when Jesus God sent him the angels and they strengthened him. And he told his disciples, stand up, let's go because the enemy is And he took himself to the torture that was before him. And he told his disciples them please. You are the people who lived with me. And you persevered in all my temptations. I persevered the mountain of Jericho. And all the journey we walked with you. I was patient for the night we walked. And the hunger that we felt. I was patient with the cold. You are the people who were with me. Now. Let me tell you. Because you are persevering with me. The Bible says whoever is patient will receive a crown of life. No one will give you the crown of life. By the time you persevere and you came to the end of the battle brethren Christian don't remain at Jericho. The journey continues. Elisha told Elisha, I will not remain at Jericho. God has sent me to Jordan. And Elisha said, I surely have God is. And you leave. Not, they continue to Jordan. Come to Jordan. Amen. Amen. When they came to Jordan, he did great things. Amen. He took his cloak. Struck the water. The water separated. They crossed on dry ground. When they crossed the Jordan, it is the time Elijah told the secret. He hand to Elisha. And he said, Elisha, you continued walking with me. Ask your neighbor. Where are you walking with Jesus? Are you sure you didn't remain at Gilgal? Are you sure you didn't remain at Bethel? 
I show you the entry main at Jericho. Where are you walking with Jesus? In the journey of at what point are you? Maybe you are still at Bethel. Amen. A true Christian. They will classify themselves where they are. They know where you are tonight. Where you are in this journey. Where you are. Where your heart has told now. you. That is where you are. But let me tell you. Don't stay there. There is still a journey. Continue walking. If you are still at Gilgal. Enter Bethel. If you are still at Bethel. Go to Jericho. And if you are at Jericho. Go to Jordan. And if you are at Jordan. Cross. Hallelujah. When they cross the Jordan, Elijah told Elisha, You have walked with me. You persevered in this journey. Now they are going. Ask anything you want. Before I am separated from you, I will give it to you. When we cross the Jordan, cross the Jordan, we receive good things more than what we received at Gilgal, at Gilgal at Bethel and they make us forget what we met with at Jericho. Amen. I repeat. When we cross the Jordan we receive many good things more than what we received at Gilgal and what we received at Bethel and they make us forget what we met at Jericho. Hallelujah. We receive a double portion. Amen. Elisa. Elisha. He told Elijah and he said that is what I want and when you cross the Jordan, it is not you who But they ask you to ask for anything. That time Solomon was building, he gave a thousand sacrifices. One to a thousand sacrifices. And that I gave them without asking for anything. The problem of Christians at Bethel. They are only requesting and asking. Only requesting and requesting. Many Christians are. You only ask. Amen. And others. Because they are still at Bethel. They can't even pray for themselves. And they buy people to pray for them. And say, I cannot pray. But let me take these people to pray for me. And then I'll pay them. These are Christians nowadays. Amen. They buy people to pray for them. But when you cross the Jordan, when Solomon came to the top of the mountain, I said, Oh, for a thousand sacrifices, God was in heaven. And he said, This man who has offered all these sacrifices, nothing else. What is what kind of man is this? He does not ask for anything. And he told Solomon. And he said, Solomon, I am so pleased with you. Very pleased with your sacrifice. Now what do you want? Ask for anything from me. The day Esther she went to the king Amen. She had prayed for three days fasting. Praying and fasting for three days. When she came before the king, the king pointed the golden scepter. And he said, Esther, my queen, what do you want? I'll give it to you. And she said, even though it's a double pledge, I'll give it to you. Amen. When he 
when you cross the Jordan, when you have left Jericho, Amen. Amen. When you leave Jericho, and you cross the Jordan, God himself asks for permission to speak. Amen. Because Esther was across the Jordan. She told the king, it's a great lesson. Mostly to the women. And she told him, I have prepared such a weird request. She said, I have prepared my king, I have prepared a banquet. Which woman can have such great riches? They are going to destroy their tribe and her too. And when they get the to ask for anything, she says, I have prepared a feast. Please come and eat. That is a great lesson to the women. If, if I have found favor in your eyes, please come to my banquet. I prepared something. Who are preparing before asking? The man comes from the door. And they start asking for what you brought to them. <laughs> you don't know how to prepare. If you want money from your husband, first prepare the table. Then ask for the money. But you ask without preparing. May God forgive us. And be like Esther. Amen. Amen. Solomon. Solomon. God told him to ask for anything. And he told God, I want wisdom. Elisha. Elisha. Elijah asked him to ask for anything. And he said, I ask for a double portion. Double portion of your spirit. When we leave Jericho and we cross the Jordan, God gives us many things. And Jesus told Peter, who left everything and followed me, and they don't come to me, went to Jericho, went to Bethel, left Bethel, went to Jericho, they left Jericho, went to Jordan, and left Jordan, and crossed the Jordan. Such people, they shall receive in this world a hundred portions. And they shall receive eternal life. Truly, it is possible that you can receive a double portion while you are still living. When you have known how to walk with Jesus properly in this journey, at what point are you in the journey of salvation? Where are you standing? Where are you continuing? If there is a place you're standing, continue the journey. What has made you stop? What has made you stop walking? Even though you met with temptation, Pacific and be strong. Be strong. If you met with sickness, Pacific. If you met with poverty, Pacific. Continue the journey. When you come to the Jordan, you shall receive more than what you met with at Jericho. David prayed that prayer. He said, God, my Lord, make me rejoice more than what I travel. And God, when we cross the Jordan, we receive joy more than the tribulation of the Brethren, continue the journey. Don't stand. Don't stay at Gilgal. Don't stay at 
Mureka kuguma Yeriko. Mureka kuguma hakurya Yorodani. Don't stay at Jordan. Mwambuke hakurya. Muzahabwa imigabane ibi. Muzahabwa imigisha. Muzahabwa gakiza. Muzahabwa ubugingo buhoraho. Hakurya Yorodani. Across the Jordan. Uyandi magambo. In other words. Ni mugami bw'Imana. Is it the kingdom of God? Urugendo twatoye go kuja mu ijuru. Ni tugera hakurya Yorodani. Across the Jordan. Tuzahabwa ubugingo buhoraho. Tuzahabwa imsiza byishi. Tugeza kuba na Don't let the devil see you. When you pass the peace, you shall receive it. Until you complete it, receive the word of God. Amen.